I also want to shift over and focus in on Square since that company also reported they had seen a hit when we talk about lockdown and people not going out earlier in the year, but they too just reported and that demographic or that, that dynamic at least seems to be changing a bit. So what do we hear uh, from Square? Yeah, Square, I mean, destroyed earnings expectations, uh, which is remarkable because both Square and Shopify, two names that actually, if you look at their stock charts, they've really moved in lockstep. They both service small businesses. And so you might think at least, you know, in the first few months of the pandemic that they would have taken a huge hit since those small businesses took a huge hit. But really, a lot of the recent upgrades of Square, even before these earnings we got, we're talking about the fact that they're helping small businesses digitize, get online. So businesses that were hammered but didn't go out of business, and we know that sadly somebody did go out of business, you know, a lot of them have bounced back by using companies like Square and their products and services to really optimize for e-commerce because it's all about e-commerce now. Uh, Square just shattered expectations on revenue and on earnings per share. And the most interesting thing within that, Cash App. Revenue was up 174%. So a lot more people using Cash App. That's that peer-to-peer -peer app. And then, Zach, within the Cash App numbers, something I know you're interested in as well, but the Bitcoin numbers for Square, really interesting now. Uh, the company back in 2018 first implemented the option to buy and trade Bitcoin within Cash App. The numbers on this were really small for a lot of quarters in a row. Now, this quarter, the first Square has ever had with more than a billion dollars in Bitcoin revenue. Now, the Bitcoin profit, a much smaller number, 32 million, but that also was double the Bitcoin profit from one quarter before. So starting to see more uh, Square customers buy or trade Bitcoin in the app, but also, of course, as Bitcoin's price has gone up, that has been a huge boon to Square. And I'm sure Jack Dorsey, whom we know is a huge Bitcoin believer, is very happy about that. I mean, the company, some people kind of thought when it added that Bitcoin feature that it looked a little bit like a distraction. It looked like Square and Dorsey were too obsessed with Bitcoin. But right now, you have to think that turning on that feature within Cash App is paying off. Yeah, especially as we see Bitcoin again uh, trading above that 15,000 level. We'll see what happens there. But clearly, a happy Jack Dorsey today with the shares up more than 10%. Dan Roberts, appreciate you bringing us that.